this has been uh, of particular interest to the last month, uh, and uh, me as well, uh, me personally, and that is the issue of should we, after many, many years, what is it, 30 years or so, uh, longer, uh, increase the intake of refugees. It now stands at 750 New Zealand First Fletcher Tabuto. What do you think? I think we've got a pretty politically savvy crowd here tonight, so I don't think they'll be surprised to hear that actually we think we should lift the uh, refugee quota. To what? Uh, you're looking at bringing it up to about 1,000 and maybe that 1,150 number, which would take it back And that's to a New Zealand First policy? Yes. Yes. And what do you think personally? I think it's a great start, actually. Well, what about you, Megan? Well, our policy at the last election was to raise it, and it's something that I absolutely support. To but what? Will, to uh, what? Well, our policy at the last election was 1,000. The, the fact of the matter is we have 52 million refugees in the world at the moment. That's a million for every week in the year. We have never had more refugees since the Second World War. We have a world crisis, and New Tell Zealand me, has to play its out part. Out of interest, New Zealand has to play its part, but, you know, we had Helen Clark, you sort of, she's in the United Nations now, but for 28 years it never changed. Why didn't Labor do something when it could. Well, actually, Labor put a huge amount of resource into refugee settlement and did, and did yeah, that's, that's a, a huge amount. But it amount didn't increase of, the quota, did it? It is time to increase the quota now. And I think that's the important thing that we need to raise it now. We are now facing a refugee crisis. The world as it stands, the refugees in terms of Syria, are massive. You we can't sit back and just Tim, let that happen Tim, and say, you didn't raise it eight years ago. That doesn't work. Tim, wash. you're hearing all this. And yeah, even, even yeah. The, the, the Secretary General for Amnesty International yeah. flies to New Zealand specifically, yeah. Salil Shetty, yeah. says to the government, says, <coughs> it is now time. The yeah. time has come yeah. for New Zealand to raise the quota. What do you think? Well, that is under consideration. You need to remember we spend $58 million every year on resettling refugees. It is quite an, a significant investment for a small country. Plus, you, you've got 750 is the basic, but you do also have those through family reunification and no, other no, categories no, no, who no, come no, in. No, so no, it's, no, so no, it's no, actually no, over... Well, it no. is over 1,000 a year at the moment. That's my point. Yeah. But Where the other point three? I would make is... is 3, 000, I think like we're all sympathetic to the, to the issue. After all, it must be absolutely horrendous. It's an enormous amount of suffering. That's why it is currently under review. So it gets Shetty, reviewed every three Salil years. So Shetty comes here, Emerson yeah. National, the big head, says, yep. I'd like New Zealand... They're on the UN Security Council yeah. to now take one and a half thousand yeah. people a year. Yes or no? Well, we are listening to that, and as I say, it's under review. The ministers of Immigration and Foreign Affairs will report and back on the review next year, and a decision will be made. And a personal opinion, mm. yourself, what would you like to see? Ah, I have sympathy for the argument, of course I do, because I've got a lot of sympathy for the fact that there are refugees in my own electorate. I've met many of them. I know what sort of suffering they've gone through. In a perfect world, I'd love to be able to have a, hu a huge increase but we've got to be realistic what well, is right both for resettling them in our country and ensuring we put the right services around those who I'll do come, come back here. to you folks but let's go to the audience and i'm interested to see whether the audience thinks that we should re increase the, the quota yeah well um, i thought now that they're filled with love and their hearts um i'd go to our uh, our test subjects and see what they think about increasing the number of refugees as long as they're well looked after and the whole system's organized no problems with it do you have any i mean you live in you live in wellington I do. Yep. Do you have uh, refugees that you know of around the rail right the neighbourhood? You make them welcome. I don't know any. No, no. I'm quite interested to know. How about how about you, sir? Well, I'm not against refugees, but I do think they need to make every effort to integrate. Okay. Do you think that's not happening at the moment? Well, we know of one family where the husband won't let the wife learn English. That doesn't sound ideal. I mean, I guess it's a different different argument, maybe. But uh, what about uh, let's go? You look like a wise man, sir. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do you think that we need to have uh, more refugees? I think, I think given the current scenario where there's you know, f over 50 million refugees, New Zealand has to play its part and accept a few more. Extra 250 going to make a damn bit of difference? Well, it will make a difference to the 250 and possibly their extended families. Yeah. Good, thank you. Maybe, Wallace, you could ask um, Tim McIndoe why the, uh, why, the, why the Jim Bolger government uh, didn't do anything uh, over those 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's very, very true. Well, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't bad at that government. It may look like oh. it, but I wasn't. <laughs> oh, right, OK. There is that, there is that issue, though, uh, and that's what John Key says, Fletcher, that the resettlement scheme, and that's what the uh, Amnesty International Secretary said, the resettlement scheme in New Zealand is one of the best yeah. in the world. So unlike Australia, they resettled here and integrated really well into society. Isn't that a good thing? So we, oh, we, uh, we, we look after the people really well what we do take. Yeah, exactly. There's, there's no debate from me. I think it's a wonderful thing, and we 
clearly need to do more of it. Do we need, do we need to worry about terrorists coming in? Yes. yes. Megan? Oh, look, we, we have well-established systems around refugee settlement to ensure that doesn't happen, and we've never had a terrorist come in. But while the Prime Minister's saying that we do this best <laughs> the in the world, world and we're deciding whether it's 3,000 or 1,000 or how many people actually come in, here's another world statistic. New Zealand is currently 90 out of 160, 116 countries of the per capita intake of refugees in the world. We are one of the bottom in the world in terms of what we take per capita. Right, look, We're not where doing our best. Where do we rank for the investment yeah. and the support we put around All right, them? if you could go to the cameras, if you point the cameras this way, because there's a big audience out here. Can we get a camera over there? Who would like to see the refugee quota raised? That's about 80% of people, Damien. What do you think? It's, it's way more than the ecstasy crowd, anyway. Oh, right, sure. right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Damien? Well, speaking of, of... Here's one man that doesn't want to live like a refugee. Uh, Darren Watson. Um, how are you? I'm good, thanks, mate. Now, the, the author of Planet Key, the controversial song which saw you wind up in court, um, we thought you'd get it, we'd get you in here for a quick update. Um, you won the court case um, that said that Planet Key was not a political song, couldn't be banned from the radio. Then what happened? Uh, the Electoral Commission have appealed... So, uh, back, in back in court? Yeah, and uh, well, we'll see what happens. But I think, you know, hopefully anyone, regardless of what side of the fence they're on, this is about freedom of speech, essentially. So I think. Cool. And, and, and not to be perturbed, you've come straight back and written a. Maybe it's slightly more subtle, this one. It doesn't have anyone's name bang in the title. But uh, no. a new song you're going to give us a, a little bit before the break? Sure, yeah. Knock Let's yourself do it. Up. So, it goes like this. <laughs> I got your office right here. I got your office right here. Hey, Johnny, I got your office, your office right here. We got to do these things in secret, no matter what they think we say. Cause if they knew what we was doing, they'd never wear TPPA. But I can justify my trappings And I can leave just when I choose Cause there's a welcome in Hawaii And a president to schmooze I got your office right here I got your office right here Hey Johnny, I got your office Your office right here Yes, I do. 